friends. So we were just talking about our numbers zero through 10. And let's review. So we have zero, we have one, which is one unit, two, which is two units, three, which is three units, four, which is four units. Oh, I'm missing one. Somebody scooted it over. Let's put it back. Five, which is five units, six, which is six units, seven, which is seven units, eight, which is eight units, nine, which is nine units. And then we have 10, which we said turned into a magic 10 rod. 10. Um, and we called these numbers zero through nine, our ones numbers, and we called our 10, the tens number. And we'll talk about that later and go more in depth of why we have those names for those numbers. We also talked about how every time we counted to a different number, we added just one more. We put one more unit. When we went to two to three, we added one more unit. Um, so we are going to practice counting with um, our clock, a clock face, and Unifix cubes. And um, so I will see you in just a minute, okay? I'm going to get my supplies ready. You can get your supplies ready to do it with me, okay? Hi, friends. I'm back. So, I have a clock here, and we have different numbers on a clock. We use numbers to tell us um, what time it is. They either tell us the hours or the minute. So, let's start at 1 and count what numbers we see on our clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we're we went two more numbers and we have eleven and twelve on our clock. We've only been talking about one through ten, but I threw in eleven and twelve. So we're going to build these numbers. Do you think you can help me? Awesome. So I'm going to use my clock. And I'm going to use what I call Unifix cubes. Now, if you don't have those, there are lots of other options and things you can use around your house to help you count if you'd like to do this at home. Okay, so we're going to start with one. How many Unifix cubes do I need? That's right, one. So I'm going to put one. Then we're going to move to two. How many Unifix cubes do I need? That's right, I need one, two. Then we're gonna to move to three. How many Unifix cubes do I need for three? Let's count, are you ready? One, two, three. How many more is three than two? How many more white ones did I need than the orange ones? Good job, that's right, one more. I needed one more to make the number three. We're gonna move on to number four. How many Unifix cubes do I need? Okay, let's count. One, two, three, Four. How many more Unifix cubes, how many more green Unifix cubes did I need to make four than three? That's right, one more. I needed one more to make four. How many Unifix cubes do I need to make the number five? Five. Okay, let's count. One. Two, three, four, five. How many more pink Unifix cubes did I need than green Unifix cubes? That's right, I needed one more Unifix cube to make the number five, so we added one. Six, how many Unifix cubes do you think I'm gonna need? How many more? Do I need then five? That's right, one more. 
Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many more did I need? One more. I needed one more. Okay. How many unifix cubes do I need to make the number seven? Seven. All right, ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many more did I need to make seven than six? That's right, one more. It's just adding one every time we count to the next number. Okay, eight. How many unifix cubes do I need? All right, help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many more do we have? How many more unifix cubes do we have from eight to seven? That's right, just one more. Okay, let me scoot this over so you can see a little bit better. All right, there we go. Eight, so we have eight unifix cubes and we had one more than seven. One more than seven. Okay, what number is this? Nine. How many unifix cubes do we need? Let's count. One, two, uh oh, got a little stuck there, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and how many more do we need? Yes, that's right, one more. One more. All right, let me scoot this over so you can see. We need one more. I'm gonna put this one right here so we can see it. Okay, so we needed one more to make nine, then eight, we just put one more down. So every time we get it with the next number, it's just one more. Okay. What number is next? 10, good job. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, how many more did we need? That's right, just one more. One more. Just one more. Okay, I can put this one back here. I think you can see it now. Let's see. There we go. All right, now we're going to look at number... 11. 11. Let's see how many unifix cubes we need to make 11. And it's going to be a tight fit, so we're going to see how we can fit them. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Great job. I know that was hard because we haven't learned about eleven, but we stretched our brains, didn't we? All right, last, twelve. Now we're really going to have to fit it, aren't we? 
Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, guys, look at our cool display. Let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see. What do you think? Isn't that so neat? And every time we went to the next number, we counted one more. Plus one is our rule to get from one number to the next number. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. Toodaloo! Don't forget to subscribe.